we've got some time to talk about to values. And I'll, when I, when I, if I get to the, the simplest side of this, we're talking about making decisions around, getting clear about what are those things that really matter to you. And we have many choices. We, have, we lead complex lives. And actually getting clarity on that can be quite complicated. So I, I, I want to give you the opportunity, to, us the opportunity to, to think about this and give you, if you like, a map and a way of thinking about it that makes it possible and as easy as possible for you. So, so that's, that's what I'm going for. Um, so um, I would like you to do a little bit of thinking for yourself, though, just to start with. So... Um, up here, I've got a, a list of some values, yeah, five values. Can you all see that at the back? Yeah, okay. So what I'd like you to do is, over the next uh, minute or so, have a look at these values, the ones you can see on there, and say to yourself, if I was to rank order these of which is most important to me, what order would I put them in? Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute to do that. Have a reflection on which of these are most important to me, with number one being right at the top, five being at the bottom. This is a, a broad selection of those. What I'd like you to do, do now is um, pair up with uh, somebody next to you and take a moment to uh, just share which, you, which ones you chose and why you chose that particular priority order. So just pair up with someone. Which ones did you choose and why did you choose that priority order? <laughs> So just a couple of things. Did, did you notice, um, did, did you have similar priorities or were, or, or were they different? So with the person you talked to, similarities, differences? Identical? Oh, interesting. Okay. What was, that? What was else in the room? Different priorities, similar priorities? Similar. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So um, we'll spend uh, some time looking at these. So... Um, what are values? When we're talking about values, they are a human quality that we attribute importance to. So we, we recognise that in terms of the in terms of what we say, how we think, what we do, and we see that in in, in how others uh, express that as well. So that's one way of thinking about values. Another another way is in thinking about they help us think about what's important to us. How are we going to invest our energy? How are we going to invest our, our, our time, our attention uh, in, ver in various things? So they have a massive impact on all of our lives in many different ways. And I kind of got interested in this because, you know, we got to teaching people around skills and various things, but I did notice and did wonder, are people actually using these in the workplace? Are people actually using them uh, to feel better, even though they can do them, do, do they choose to use them? And, and often the case was not. So um, it does determine how, how we spend our time and, and put our energy into work. So now I want to talk a little bit about um, how can we start having conversations of values, values in uh, work environments. And first things first is the importance of safety. Um, you know, we can get a little bit like, um, oh, these values are more important than these values, um, which values are worthy, um, which ones are, are, are more meaningful than other values. Um, and the problem with that is it, it, when we start to th think about it, we get immediately into the place of judgment and we can start to judge others around what their values are. So first things first is from my perspective and when we work with this, no one value is more, is more important than another value. Um, they're, they're all of equal importance. Um, and we like to think of values in terms of um, as energy. And... <clears throat> The reason we find this helpful, if we start to think of them as being more worthy or more um, uh, righteous or whatever it might be, that tends to get us get us into not not a very good place. So, starting to think of them in terms of values as energy makes it a neutral term that we can all relate to. So, um, I can choose to put my energy into something physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I'm drawn towards people that have similar values to me and um, might find myself in conflict with people that I feel like I don't have the same, same values with. So, thinking of values as energy is helpful. Um, values are choices. So, all of us uh, have influences from school, our life experiences, from uh, our workplaces, from our parents from uh, tough experiences in life, and that will determine many of our values. But I think it's sometimes 
uh, you know, easy to forget that they are choices. We can choose what values we want to operate from. And if we become aware of them and which ones are most important to us, um, we, we can say, actually, well, actually, I want to prioritize this. I want to prioritize this. So we have more choice than we sometimes think. So values are uh, priorities. So there are possibly, who knows, but thousands of human values that we could operate with. Um, but ultimately, each of us chooses a few priorities. Uh, and typically, roughly around about 10 priorities, and many other values perhaps operating in the background, but we have perhaps 10 priorities that, in terms of the way that we operate. And values cluster to make meaning. So values are never there in isolation. They always are connected to other things. So um, you'll see uh, on your, uh, the bit of paper that I gave you is, if you like, uh, a map of some of this territory of working with values. And what, one thing that's useful is to start to think about some of the different groupings that there are around values to make this a little bit more managing, manageable. Um, so we can see here we've got a, a circle of these values perspectives, which are groupings of values that act as filters or worldviews in terms of the way that we operate and the way we see things. Uh, and um, they're intentionally in a circle. On, on the, the bit you've got there, they're in a, in a line. And very often we can start to think the things on the right are more important than the things on the left, as sometimes is the, is the, is the case in many models. I want to emphasize that that isn't the case. You can be successful from any one of these values perspectives. And I imagine today that you've had, we've heard many values that have been expressed. Some will have been in the grounding perspective, those values that are really important for our um, stability for our, for, for our survival, make sure we've got the basics that we need in life. There'll be some values that have been expressed in relation to, to family and that, that unit that is really, really important for us. And that, that unit might be a family that we're born in, but it might become the team where we're a part of. There are values that we associate with organizations and management, and we get lots of influence from these from, from our, our, our organizations and institutions. There are values that are around relational values, and which will, many of those, if you look down that list there, will link to, to today in many respects, about discovering your own potential, around um, building higher quality relationships with other people. And there are values around um, systems, which is around saying, if I want to have a little bit more influence in the world, how do I um, start to think about the, the complex systems that I'm a part of, and how do I make all those systems work uh, to, to, to be more effective? And finally, there are more the expansion perspective, perspective which is thinking about more globally orientated values. So it's often, it's often thought that we can kind of be neutral in the world, and often people will say to you, well, can't you be objective about that? And um, actually, that's quite challenging, <laughs> because all of us do have huge bias in terms of the way that we operate. And so, for me, it's really helpful when we get a sense of knowing what our biases are, so we can bring those in mindfully in the right situations, in the right ways. And working with values can help us to get clarity on that. Okay, so just, just to give you a sense in terms of this um, um, map, you can think of, if you like, the left-hand side, those ones around grounding and family as more as the foundation, really important foundations that we pay attention to. The management and relational ones around day-to-day -day focus. And the ones more on the right-hand side, systems and vision, more about what's drawing us towards, towards our future. So just uh, what I'd like to do for a second uh, is to have a look at this map that you've got in front of you and just say to yourself, typically we tend to have a core perspective, a perspective that feels like a home base, base for ourselves. What do you think your core perspective is? What feels most like home for you in relation to some of these, some of these perspectives? So just for a minute or so, what feels like a home base for you? Okay, thank you very much. So when we do this uh, work in organizations and with individuals, uh, often there's a big draw to the right-hand side, a big pull towards the, the, the right-hand side uh, in terms of pe where people want to uh, pay attention to. 
And so some of the things that, that are really, really important is, is reminding people to pay also big attention to the foundations, some of the things perhaps we've been talking a little bit about today, to make sure those foundations are in place. In organisations, very often the relational perspective um, some gets, gets over, overrided by the management perspective. And so finding ways to prioritise and bring to the foreground some of those relational perspectives uh, can, can be really important so that, so that, so that uh, people can do what they need to do in terms of really building those relationships to make things work. In terms of having a core perspective, one thing's really important if you, in terms of leadership and management is recognising your perspective and being able to have a reach across the perspective. Um, and, and sometimes people can get too isolated in, in one of these perspectives and when they don't have that reach, they won't be as effective with other people. So what I'd like, you to, what I'd like to do um, is just for a moment, I'd like you to um, ha have a look at the, the value sheet again and just pick, pick a value for yourself that stands out for you, that's, that, that, that is really important to you. And once you've done that, when we're working with values, values ultimately are personal. Ultimately, they're completely personal, and it's really important to get our own meaning to them. So what I'd like to do is, with that value, I'd like you to share a story about why, that, why you've chosen that value and why it's important to you, okay? Because uh, that's where you get the real meaning. Without the conversation, without the dialogue, we don't really get to understand what each other's values are. So I want you, just for um, with a partner again, pick a value and take the moment to share, share um, why this is important to you and what it means to you. Share a little story about it. So thank you very much. Hopefully you've had a bit of an opportunity. I know it was quite quick, but I hope a bit of an opportunity to talk to a value that's really important to you. Um, when, when people do get to talk about values that are important to them, typically they find it a very energizing experience when they really connect with those things that are important to you. A uh, couple, of, couple of things... To, to finish with, um, it really, it, there are, it's really beneficial to clarify your priority values and how you want to live them. It makes a big difference. Um, look for convergence of, of values and strengths. So when, you, when you, you've got something that's really clearly important to you and you can align that with the strengths, that's really, really powerful. Um, be aware of the role of supporting values, particularly in the foundation. So you may have some aspirations and some, some values that you want to bring in, but without the, without the foundations... Um, a, a bit like looking after yourself that got talked about earlier, um, that, that, that doesn't manifest, ma manifest itself, doesn't happen. And um, look, look for ways to extend your values reach across perspectives. Um, so some perspectives, notice you maybe you look down that list and you're less drawn to some of the perspectives. How can you open yourself up to some of those values? Because that might be limiting your potential in some way. Okay, thank you very much.